Timberwolves got off to a 17 to nothing start last night. It was the most prolific start in franchise history, and they're off to a 9 nothing start here tonight. Town, Minneapolis, the Wolves off and rolling against the Lakers. Butler spins on Clarkson and able to get an easy one off the Black. Again, Jimmy just takes his time, gives him the pump fake, gives him the shoulder, the little step through move, and Jordan Clarkson is, is not a good defender against someone as big as Jimmy Butler. Five total in the game. Butler, and adds one opportunity for Jimmy Butler, and Jimmy's finally going to head to the free throw line over the last couple of games, but he did not attempt any free throws in the game last week in L.A. Yeah. Well, he angled off Julius Randle and kind of baskets, then almost gets a steal right there. And he leads the Lakers with nine points in the game tonight. Tapped back up and in. I'm not sure if it was Gordon or Jimmy that got that. I think Butler in. got that one. Gets it right back from Taj Gibson. Shot clock down to four. Jimmy attacks and Butler with the finish. That's an attack right there. Brewer underneath. Sent the other way by Towns. Numbers for the Wolves. Butler sets up for the three and drills the triple. Carl Anthony Towns getting things going with the projection of Corey Brewer. The Wolves off and running. And Minnesota back up by 11 here in downtown Minneapolis. Butler spins, fires, connects. Maybe that was. I mean, Butler loves to turn that way. Recently, you've made him relevant, uh, and you're the leader of that team. And, and not just by doing nothing, by doing everything. I mean, he created that last turnover. There's more than one team that's viable in that fourth position. We get the tiebreaker. Things get tight in the Western Conference. Jimmy knocks down another jumper. 28 in the game. Crazy. Jimmy Butler.